Greetings and salutations, everyone. I am Tiwitty. You are my nerds, and we are here to play some video games. Let's fire up Oblivion and get going. Hilarious. Hi, Rory, how are you? I don't know why it is making me reset all this. 1920 by 1080 widescreen. We will play with HDR. Yes, 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 yes. Eh. Ultra high quality. Then we'll go to my actual monitor resolution. It seems to have lost all my presets. I don't know if that bodes well or not. Hi, Karis. Alex, thank you so much. <clears throat> For the resub, I greatly appreciate it. It's uh, it's particularly noteworthy since I know I don't stream that often, so it's very nice to have you, and I appreciate the support. Yes, um, I started trying to do the arena battles at a, at level five on the build I was using, and it just didn't work. Like my aspiration was to do. To, to accomplish everything I wanted to on um, maximum difficulty while playing in like a natural exploration sort of style. That's not going to work. They're, uh, <clears throat> I'm resigning to the fact, number one, we're going to have to do some grinding in some places, some actual grinding. And number two, we're going to have to... Uh, we're going to have to... I, I, I wouldn't call it sequence breaks exactly, but we're not going to be able to just walk everywhere and not fast travel and naturally explore the way I like to do in Morrowind and Oblivion, it's 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 just not gonna fly. The leveling problem is too severe. Hi Jared! Hi Maya! It's been a long time since I managed to stream when you could watch. Welcome, welcome. The main the main difference, Rory, is I'm I'm tweaking it so I can use summons from the start. Because that's just going to be vitally necessary. But let's see. That's all good. Come on, now. Ultra high doesn't enable these things. That's very silly. Well, we've got HDR lighting. Lone Wonder, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome, welcome. So good to have you back. Always a pleasure. I think the volume actually, volume audio levels actually seem pretty good. I could use a bit more mouse sensitivity, I suppose. Everything else looks good. All right, let's start a new game. No one has escaped from the Imperial prison. <laughs> we all wanted to hear Sir Patrick again. I, I kind of think he phoned it in for this game, to be honest. For 65 I do love his voice. As as but for all these years, I've never been the ruler of my own dreams. I have seen the gates of oblivion, beyond which no waking eye may see. Behold, in darkness, a doom sweeps the land. Nineteen eighties car commercials? Are they on YouTube? I'm always a fan. The more shameful parts of an actor's career. <laughs> this is the twenty seventh of last seed, the year of Akatosh four thirty three. These are the closing days of the third era and the final hour. I remember just how thoroughly this blew my mind when it came out in 2006. It was a launch title for the Xbox 360, as I recall. Or close to it. And I will say, I, s I still think that generation of consoles was the last really, really big graphical leap. You know what I mean? Like... Going from the OG Xbox to the 360, that was a big jump. We've been through two more generations since then, and a, yeah, they're, the graphics are better in each new one, but they're not that much better. We've kind of, 
They've switched over from big leaps forward to incremental improvements, I think. Mm. All right. As I've been doing ever since the show came on, because it affords me the opportunity to use the voice sometimes, we're going to name our character Beavis this go-round. We are, as ever, going to be a high elf. In any, um... Uh, in any... Whether, whether it be Morrowind or Oblivion, in any of these games that still use the attribute system, you can... You, 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 ha you have a choice. You can optimize for health, or you can optimize for Magicka. Uh, if I chose to optimize for health, I would, you know, at maximum level, I think that it, it's a little different. In a, I, actually, I'm not even sure it's different in Oblivion. The, 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 the health differential is something like 70. It's like the difference between, you know, 650 and 720 or something like that. But as I explained in the Morrowind Guide, and it, as remains true in Oblivion, uh, the difference between optimized for Magicka versus not is 100 versus 400 base Magicka. Not to mention, uh, although it comes with its inconveniences, especially in the early game, the Atronach birth sign, which we're ultimately going to choose, makes it possible to accomplish 100% spell absorption, which is going to be very, very useful once we get there. So we will be a male high elf. I'm just going to... I'm just going to push the random face button until I see something that's not too terribly offensive. That's fine. Um, pick a better hairstyle, though. That'll do. Alright. Beavis the High Elf, here we go. <laughs> Be slightly less powerful than Gaynor? Oh, fuck that. We want to pwn Gaynor! <laughs> That's not possible. It can't be done. Huh. Quest added. Tutorial. To move forward, push W, push S to move back, to move left, push A, to move right, push D. The, left, the mouse turns you to run, push left, shift. Alright, so we start with a whopping 30 strength. Which means our carry weight is a an abysmal 150. Um, none of this stuff is worth picking up. You, you, although, I will, I will point out, you actually do increment mercantile experience even for zero gold sales. So in that sense, it is useful, but there's too much stuff to pick up in the tutorial. And once we're finished, we can't go back in. We need to prioritize better, uh, better loot. We, we, we need to prioritize either stuff we can sell for significant amounts of gold, of which we will find none in the tutorial, or stuff we're actually going to use. All right, let's let Valen taunt us. Look at the high and mighty Aldrin. Where's your dignity now, huh? Where's that famous high elf poise and bear? Let me make a new save. You know, my time's almost up. Pretty soon I'll be free, and you'll still be stuck in this rattle, waiting for your execution. That's right. I heard some of the guards talking. You're going to die in here, High Elf. You hear me? You're going to die in here. Hey, you hear that? The guards are coming. For you. <laughs> no rereading text. I'm going with Martin's suggestion. <clears throat> My job right now is to get you to safety. What's this prisoner doing here? This cell is supposed to be off limits. Usual mix up with the watch. Um, no, they don't necessarily start with a pending execution, Maya. Um, they all start with you in prison. But in arena, in arena, you're in prison on false charges because you know that Jagar Tharn's an imposter emperor. In Daggerfall, you're not actually a prisoner at all. Your boat just crashes into uh, what used to be a prison for smugglers, and that's the tutorial level. And, as we may all remember in Morrowind, we are actually being released. Not a pending execution. And in Oblivion, it's not clear that we're actually about to be executed. Valen says that, but he's just a douchebag who likes to taunt you. Um... <laughs> 
<laughs> the only the the only one where it's absolutely certain you're about to be executed is Skyrim, I believe. Never mind. Get that gate open. Stand back, prisoner. We won't hesitate to kill you if you get in our way. No sign of stay put, prisoner. Good. Let's go. We're not out of this yet. When they first released Daggerfall, there's the uh, well, not, not there still is. There's an alternate intro to Daggerfall that um, where the dialogue indicates that you are actually the same player character from Obliv from Arena, uh, but they they chose to get rid of that. So you can it it, it can be true in your head canon that the Eternal Champion from Arena and the Agent from Daggerfall are the same character. I think that's that's definitely the only two games where it's even possible for that to be true. But uh, they they get they ditched the intro where it was definitely true, but they actually recorded an intro with dialogue indicating that they were the same character. I have seen you. Let me see your face. You are the one from my dreams. Then the stars were right. This is the day. Gods give me strength. What's going on? Assassins attacked my sons, and I am next. My blades are leading me out of the city along a secret escape route. By chance, the entrance to that escape route leads through your cell. Who are you? I am your emperor, Uriel Septim. By the grace of the gods, I serve Tamriel as her ruler. You are a citizen of Tamriel, and you too shall serve her in your own way. Why am I in jail? Perhaps the gods have placed you here so that we may meet. As for what you have done, it does not matter. That is not what you will be remembered for. What should I do? You will find your own path Take care. There will be blood and death before the end. Please, sire, we must keep moving. <coughs> Better not close this one. There's no way to open it from the other side. Looks like this is your last day. I'm watching out of our way. Get going, Glenroy. Alright. So we're doing this a little differently. Um I'm going to be able to use a uh, flare throughout the tutorial, as I'm not that terrified of every possible destruction increment. We do want to get a. Uh, Whenever this is done, we need to get Reno's katana. I'll take her... Hmm, let me see. I'm actually not gonna bother with the steel short sword. I want her katana. I'll take the weak potion of healing. Stand aside, prisoner. They've been waiting for us here. There's trouble ahead. Let me get Flare ready to go. We're gonna need it. They won't be the first to underestimate the blades. I'll take point. Let's move. You stay here, prisoner. Don't try to follow us. I think we are to ready your weapon or fists, push F. To attack, push left button, to block, push right button. I should be able to snipe the rats without getting hit from up here. Very good. I'll start by picking up the alchemy ingredients. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pour them all out this run or not. Bring up your journal, push tab. You can use this to view your character's attributes, equip armor and weapons, and choose spells. Alright, let me see. Is there four assassins? One. There we go. Weak potion of sorcery. That's the one I missed. 
Click on the fist icon at the bottom of the journal to bring up the inventory tab. From here you can equip armor and weapons by clicking on them. We'll use the katana. We'll basically combo all the... Most, most of the enemies in these early parts, these rats, we're gonna combo with a couple of flares and then bash them with the katana. All right, third rat in here. Where you at? Where you at? Blade increased. Um, I don't know if there's a hotkey for take all in on the PC version of Oblivion or not, Karis. That's actually a really good question. All right, we're gonna wait one hour. Everything should gloriously refill. Leave the rusty iron war axe. Leave the club, take the lock picks. Take the torches. Oh, I meant to leave the club. Thank you very much. There you go. All right. Take the shield. Take the bow. Take the arrows. Take the dagger. Take the torch. Take the lockpicks. Take the light armor. If you have a lock pick, you can try to pick most locks. Move the pick upward into a tumbler. When the tumbler reaches the top of the lock, click the left mouse button to secure it in place. When all tumblers are at the top, the lock will open. Gold and a sapphire. Very nice. If you use a bow, you'll need to have both the bow and some arrows equipped. Go into your inventory and equip them now. <laughs> Excuse me. Fine. Now you're ready to practice with your bow. The bucket near the well will make a good target. To draw an aim, push left button, release it when you're ready to fire. Yes, of course. Nice shot! You can retrieve arrows from the world as well as recovering some of the arrows you fire into enemies. Alright. Go back to the katana for now. Imperial substructure. Door opened with iron key. Now practice casting spells. To cast your selected spell, push C. If you want to change spells, push tab to bring up your journal again. Blade increased. Wait and heal up. Very good. All right. Take the arrows. I'm gonna leave the weapons, but I'm gonna get the heavy armor. I'm gonna put it on. Click on the spell icon at the bottom of the journal to bring up the magic tab. Okay. Lose those. <clears throat> Very good. Increased. Hmm. You 
fatigue is low and you cannot do as much melee damage. Fatigue returns slowly on its own, especially while walking instead of running. The green bar at the bottom left displays your current fatigue. Blade increased. Take the Mort Flesh. Let's bash down this other rat. Blade increased again. That's all well and good. Alright. Oh, the non-hostile rat? Just fear of the zombie, I suppose. I have high hopes on the disconnect issue again today. Your health is low and you're close to death. Damn. Saw that coming. Shoot. Yeah, 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 I know. Thank you. Okay. Woo! Let's wait. Maybe I was terrified by my Uma Thurman katana wielding skills. Yeah, if only my character was that proficient. Let's see, we'll take all that. Potions and lockpick. That's lovely. Hello. Heavy armor increased. Yahoo. Oh. Enemy nearby. Cannot wait while in the air. Hilarious. Alright, here we go. I feel certain there's gotta be a mod for that. The kill bill yet the the yellow kill bill tracksuit. Oh, come on. There we go. Destruction increased. <laughs> ah, damn it, he staggered me. If not for that stagger, I think I could have done it. I managed to only pull one that time? Yeah, I did! Amazing! That's the way to go. Pull them one at a time. Blade increased again. All well and good. Alright. <clears throat> I thought there was a chest over there, and I was right. It has an average lock. Fortunately, much like Skyrim, you can pick every lock in the game from the very beginning. That is delightful. Okay. I need the helmet, which we're going to wear. I want the food and the shield, which we're going to equip. Don't need that skull. 
That's a nope. Alright. Leave the Warhammer. Very good. Take the gold, leave the axe. Alright. man. It's wild. Yeah, poisons will be a lifesaver for sure, but um, mainly I'm optimizing to be able to do summons at the beginning, because that's what's utterly destroying me. It's my... The fact that the, the fact that, that first build needed to delay the use of summons, it's just not going to work. Alright. Athletics increased. There's another rat. Last one, I think. All right. Very good. Ale. Take it for now. Ale's not worth it. I'll drop him. And here's this thing. We are gonna need silver goblet is not worth it. That ruby on the ground sure definitely was. Potions are worth it. No, I will not be failing to pick a mushroom. Sorry, game. This does not work for me. Thank you. That's a no. Come on. Come on. There we go. Blessed be. All right. Nope. 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 Come on. Thank you. Jesus Christ, Marie. One of the more baffling and terrible design decisions. Ah. Motherfucker. Ah. Well, there was one more rat. It's my fault not anticipating that. I am watching the Rings of Power, Alex, and... I think it's okay. Like, I'm... You can hotkey items and spells from your journal by holding down a number key and then clicking the item you want in that slot. Pressing this number while exploring will equip that item instantly. I'm kind of liking the Rings of Power. I do not understand, like, the vitriolic outrage about it. I think it's got a lot of potential to get really good in later seasons. My main problem with it is that Galadriel is already supposed to be like 3,000 or, you know, thousands of years old, and she just seems so immature and stupid. Like, I, I cannot believe she is the same character we will see Kate Blanchett playing in 3,000 years. It's just an impossible level of, it's an impossible level of suspension of disbelief for me. And that breaks a lot of the show, because she's the main character. But I kind of like everything else. Like, I'm really interested in Adar and the slightly less genocide is just fine portrayal of the orcs is very interesting to me. I really enjoyed seeing Numenor. I'm liking Elendil and his children and all that stuff. All right. We are going to sneak attack and poison the first unarmed goblin. That goblin up ahead hasn't seen you yet. 
You may be able to sneak by him. To go into sneak mode, push left control. Notice that the crosshair changes to an eye while you are sneaking. If the eye is dim, no one can detect you. If the eye is bright, someone can detect you. Alright. 100% harvest chance mod. Well, I mean... Oh, for fuck's sake, really? Oh, absolutely fucking not, no. You can't... You can't fight the unarmed goblins head on. What the fuck? I guess I need to wait. A little actual stealth. Alright. Alright, alright. That wasn't so bad. The... The very pleasant outdoor music for sneaking around this imperial substructure full of goblins is strange. Got it. Got it. Lovely. Alright. Okay. You have found a mortar and pestle. Equip it to create potions or poisons from ingredients with like effects. Your alchemy skill will make your creations more powerful. Alright. Poison the katana. Let's quietly roll up. Quiet. 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 Got him. Boom. Roasted. Thank you. Roast rat. Three rat meat. Yes, please. Very easy chest. Why not? <clears throat> Take it all. Why not? All right. Here we go. Weirdly enough, and this is, you know, one of those reasons that we can all be very certain that the scaling problems in Oblivion are bugs, not intended. <laughs> um, unarmed goblins do, unarmed creatures in general, do boatloads more damage than the ones that use weapons. Like, I'm going to be able to fight this one that's using a weapon straightforward. The unarmed goblin would have murdered the fuck out of me. <clears throat> be nice if I could kill him with his trap. It's not gonna happen though. Noise. All right. I think that's it for this room. Take the iron dagger. should kill both of them. Wonderment. Take his arrow. Take his lockpicks. Take the arrows and lockpicks. Leave the rest. Spring the chest. Take all that. Take all that. We are very close to encumbered now. Gonna have to start leaving potions behind, I think.
Blade increased. Great. Take the lock picks. I was gonna say I just I couldn't quite remember if I looted both chests or not. I got two more melee goblins. I would like to bait out and fight one at a time if at all possible. One flare tag. Ought to do it. Hello. Start leaving some stuff behind. Ditch the rusty iron dagger to start. Go wait again. Alright, there's one more melee goblin. I think he's down in the rat pit. Yes. Get him in here. one weak potion of respite. <laughs> Alright, there we go. We'll flare the rats. Is that all of them? One more. potions in order to keep this going. That brings us to the Goblin Mage. Oh, wait a minute. I want the rat meat. De-encumber this way. Alright. We're going to have a flare duel. So I thought, anyway. Ah, ah he got me. Or she. Alright, uh, one thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take off my armors. Our flare will do more damage that way.
Do better. Alright, there we go. Come at me, bro. Or sis, as the case may be. Got him. All right. Armor back on. We're going to drop the katana now. We have no further use for it. Gonna wait and heal up. Repair hammer! You have found a repair hammer. Equip it to repair your weapons and armor using your armor or skill. Damaged weapons and armor are less effective, so it is wise to keep them in good repair. No kidding. Eight rat meat. Don't need the ale. It's not worth it. Very easy lock chest. Leave the silver vase. It's not worth it. <clears throat> Wonderful. We're through. Arrows and lock picks. Please and thank you. All right. Now we're back to letting the blades fight everything. And wait up here. I don't think there's anything back this direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming, Uriel. They cannot understand why I trust you. They've not seen what I've seen. How can I explain? Listen, you know the Nine. How they guide our fates with an invisible hand. I don't know. I don't think about it. I've served the Nine all my days, and I chart my course by the cycles of the heavens. The skies are marked with numberless sparks, each a fire, and every one a sign. I know these stars well, and I wonder which sign marked your birth. Atronach! <laughs> the signs I read show the end of my path, my death, a necessary end will come when it will come. What about me? Your stars are not mine. Today the Atronorch shall aid you with your appointed burden. Can you see my fate? 
My dreams grant me no opinions of success. Their compass ventures not beyond the doors of death. But in your face, I behold the sun's companion. The dawn of Akatosh's bright glory may banish the coming darkness. With such hope, and with the promise of your aid, my heart must be satisfied. Aren't you afraid to die? No trophies of my triumphs precede me, but I have lived well, and my ghost shall rest easy. Men are but flesh and blood. They know their doom, but not the hour. In this, I am blessed to see the hour of my death, to face my apportioned fate, then fall. Where are we going? I go to my grave. A tongue shriller than all the music calls me. <laughs> Alex. <laughs> then we must part. I mean, Uriel is a central character in four out of the five Elder Scrolls games, so. You may as well make yourself useful here. Carry this torch and stick close. The blades. We're the Emperor's bodyguards. Our job is to get him out of situations like this. Although I admit, things are not going according to plan. Uriel Septim. My job is to make sure the Emperor gets out of here alive, and I intend to do it. Fair enough. Stick close and let us do our job. We'll be alright. Let's see. I guess there were only two. Potion of sorcery. Why not? Alright, the key moment is whether or not we level up after we create our class. If I do, I need to start over. And be more careful, but I shouldn't. The Oblivion prequels. <laughs> I mean, it, Uriel's not really a central character in Morrowind. He's aware of the prophecies and manipulating them to solve the Dagothur tribunal problem, but... Potion of healing. Potion of sorcery. Get him. Healing. Check out this chest. Getting close again. The Sanctum. <clears throat> Hold up. I don't like this. Let me take a look. That's not a knife. This is a knife. <laughs> True that. Damn it. The gate is caught from the other side. A trap. What about that side path? Where's the drop? <coughs> Excuse me. Need to be careful. Options here. They're behind us. Wait here, sire. Wait here with the Emperor. Guard him with your life. This For one's the mine. Emperor! <laughs> hey, I'm gonna need you all not to attack me. Okay, that'd be great. Forgot where I was when I quick loaded. Yep. You thought we'd go down easy? Uh, 
Kill him. Alright, now the I can go no further. You alone must stand against the Prince of Destruction and his mortal servants. He must not have <laughs> kings. Take the amulet. Give it to Joffrey. He alone knows where to find my last son. Find him and close shut the jaws of oblivion. Emperor gets killed. Alright. Boris got him. There's Glenroy. I'll take his gold. Check the assassins. Potion of Night Eye. Um, let's lose the sackcloth sandals. Those are useless. We failed. I failed. The blades are sworn to protect the Emperor. Now he and all his heirs are dead. The amulet. Where's the amulet of kings? It wasn't on the Emperor's body. The Emperor gave it to me. <clears throat> he saw something in you. Trusted you. They say it's the dragon blood that flows through the veins of every septum. They see more than lesser men. The amulet of kings is a sacred symbol of the empire. Most people think of the red dragon crown, but that's just jewelry. The amulet has power. Only a true heir of the blood can wear it, they say. He must have given it to you for a reason. Did he say why? I must take it to Joffrey. Joffrey? He said that? Why? There is another heir. Nothing I ever heard about. But Joffrey would be the one to know. He's the Grand Master of my order. <laughs> Although you may not think so to meet him, he lives quietly as a monk at Wainan Priory, near the city of Coral. How do I get there? First, you need to get out of here. Through that door must be the entrance to the sewers, past the locked gate. That's where we were heading. Joffrey, oh no! Imperial city. <laughs> or it was supposed to be secret. Here, you'll need this key for the last door into the sewers. The sewers? There are rats and goblins down there. But from what I've seen of you, I'm guessing you're an experienced knight. Am I right? Quest completed. Tutorial. You now must choose your class. The major skills of your class will start higher than your other skills. You will increase your level by raising these major skills. Custom class. It's a combat specialization. Our favorite attributes are endurance and luck. Our seven major skills are athletics, conjuration, destruction, marksman, mercantile, restoration, and sneak. Adventure is fine. I wasn't far off. In any case, rats and goblins won't give you any trouble. After the sewers, then what? You must get the amulet to Joffrey. Take no chances, but proceed to Wayne in Priory immediately. Got it? Yes, I understand. Good. The Emperor's trust was well placed. What about you? What will you do? I'll stay here to guard the Emperor's body and make sure no one follows you. You better get moving. May Talos guide you. Quest added, deliver the amulet, and we have not leveled up. Very good. Ah, Dunbarrow Cove. Centuries ago, a great battle took place in Anvil Bay. In the battle, the legendary pirate Toradon Abdugal, the captain of the infamous Black Flag, was defeated by the first Count of Anvil. Rumors have been circulating of a hidden underground cavern beneath Castle Anvil. If the, if the rumors are to be believed, then the final resting place of Captain Dougal and his ship have been uncovered. I should investigate these rumors as soon as possible. Continue. All right. Horse armor note added. I've discovered a notice from Snack Grabura of the Chestnut Handy Stables. She is offering to outfit a horse with armor at no charge to anyone who presents her with a note like the one that I've found. I should bring my horse to her and take advantage of this offer. Horse armor note! Ha! Dear reader, in celebration of the launch of our new boarding services, we are offering a free set of horse armor to the bearer of this letter. 
To retrieve your reward, bring your favorite horse along with this notice to the Chestnut Handy Stables outside of the Imperial City. Help us spread the word about our new horse armor services. Chestnut Handy, because you can't afford not to protect your horse. Signed, Snap Grabura, owner, Chestnut Handy Stables. Hilarious. Hilarious. Alright, we didn't level up. That's really important. So let me look at our skills. We did get a point to destruction. That's... Sir, that, 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 that's still serviceable. That's all right. I think we got 10 to blade, so we're going to raise strength. And I think we got 10 to heavy armor, so we're going to be able to raise endurance. That's very good. All right. <clears throat> now, I need to be pretty careful. I need to be a little careful running everywhere, because I don't want to trip a level up. That's unfortunate, but it is what it is. The good news is, by taking Conjuration as a major skill, you can see we learned we got some new spells. From Restoration, Conjuration, and Destruction, we got Absorb Health, Cold Touch, Inspiration. How did I get Inspiration? I didn't take Illusion. Yeah, whatever. All good. Um, shocking Touch, Turn Undead, and most importantly, Summon Skeleton. Very easy lock chest. Take these potions, but it's too many. Leaving them behind one way or another, I might as well do it the easy way. Alright, to the sewers! Door opened with Boris's key. Boris's key removed. Unearthing Mehrun's Razor! I've heard talk of a lost alien city called Varsa Balim, where Mehrun's Razor is hidden. If I search the ruins of Sundercliff Watch in the Eastern Niven, I may be able to find the lost city and recover this powerful Daedric artifact. Outstanding. We shall continue. In just a moment. Mm-hmm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> Got some emails. Hooray. Continue. Deep Scorn Hollow. According to a mysterious message that's been delivered to me, I've inherited an underground lair called Deep Scorn Hollow from a long lost relative. It's situated at the southernmost point of Cyrodiil, south of Leowin. I've marked its location on my map. At the next opportunity, I should make my way out there and inspect my new acquisition. I'm over encumbered! the damn note. I have watched you from afar and feel it is time to make myself known. I am Greywin, the last of the Crimson Scars. Once a powerful force rivaling the Dark Brotherhood itself, the Scars were the true followers of Sithis and the masters of deception. I will be departing this world soon as the cold embrace of the Night Lord calls to me. All I have I leave as a legacy to you. My home, Deep Scorn Hollow, will be your new haven. Use the map on the reverse of this note to find it. All that lay within is yours to do with as you please. I have but one request in return. Further the ways of shadow and honor Sithis with the darkest of deeds. Make the virtuous pay for their blasphemy with their lifeblood staining your blade. May Sithis guide you, Greywin. Alright. <clears throat> Frostcrag Spire. According to a deed that's been delivered to me, I've inherited a property called Frostcrag Spire from a long-lost relative. I've marked its location on my map. At the next opportunity, I should make my way out there and inspect my new acquisition. Hi, Martin. And we're over encumbered again. Deed to crop Frostcrag Spire. This document is to inform the bearer that the last known owner of the property known as Frostcrag Spire has been declared deceased, and the bearer has been listed as the sole heir and successor to the deceased's ownership of said property. The bearer has full ownership rights to all of the structures, flora, and land within the property borders as defined in the Cyrodiil Construction Charter. The bearer is responsible for all matters pertaining to or occurring on said property. This document also empowers the bearer transfer rights to reassign the property as he sees fit. The bearer may amend this document to rename the manor by submitting the proper forms and payments to the Cyrodiil Construction Charter and by filing duplicate forms with the Documents Division of the Imperial City Archives. All right. I actually descend the steps now? <clears throat> no! Battlehorn Castle. 
I've heard a rumor that the defenders of Battlehorn Castle are besieged by marauders and are appealing for aid. Apparently their commander has been killed and they're offering the castle itself to anyone who will help lift the siege. Alright. Clairvoyant activation of add-on quests. You know it. I mean, they're programmed that way because originally, you know, they were released after the base game. And so you would buy the expansion and install it and then the quest would pop. It ends up being pretty hilarious though. Hello! Get him! Get him! Wreck him! Wreck him! There you go. This is the way. Alright, rusty iron dagger. No thank you. Rat meat is a yes. Get rid of the less awesome potions. That meets a yes. We'll ditch another less awesome potion. This gate is sealed! Not even opened remotely, but sealed! Skelly will take care of business. Is anything in here? I thought so. Drop another lame potion. Go, go, Skelly dude. Sick him! Oh, he just wrecked another rat for me that I didn't even know was there! He's amazing! dog is having a bit of a freak out over by the door. I think she really wants to go bother Sharon and the kids. But Sharon asked me specifically to keep her in the room with me. Sorry, River. Cheese wheel! Alright, yeah, we're gonna have to... You've picked up more than you can carry. In order to move again, you'll need to drop some items. So push tab to bring up your journal. Well, I want this stuff, so we're gonna have to lose... Some potions, at least at the outset. Keep the mortar and pestle. We can lose the light armor. Very good. I will take the flower. I will take the arrows and lockpick. Uh, okay. What else can we lose? I'm gonna have to lose some weapons now. Let's drop one of these iron daggers. My skelly pal needs a nickname. <laughs> but I, th I think it's a different skeleton every time. But I mean, we call him Bonesy. Bones or Dr. Bones, if you're a Star Trek fan. Since my character's named Beavis, we can call him Butthead. Oh, that's what we're doing. Whatever my whatever my summon du jour is, as they scale up, it's gonna change. We're gonna use summon clan fear most of the game. That's the most useful summon for most of the level range. Um, yeah, we're gonna call my summon Butthead. All right, Butthead the skeleton. Beavis the High Elf. Here we go. Alright, we got one more rat. Get him! Wow. Sewer rat. It's not hostile. There we go. I guess it wasn't hostile. How do you like that? All right. Mm. 
That is one lethargic rat. Truly, truly, he is. All right. Gate to City Isle. Finished. We shall exit the sewers. All right, that went well. We shall make a hard save here. And we shall fast travel to the Market District. The red arrow on your compass shows the direction of Wayne and Priory. You can walk there by following your compass, or use your world map to travel there directly. Or you can set off in any direction and begin exploring the world on your own. Good luck. Note from Bothiel added, repairing the orrery. I've discovered a note from Bothiel at the Arcane University. If I can recover the dwarven artifacts that have gone missing, there may be a reward. I should travel to Camp Ailes and see if I can track down these bandits. What bandits? Of what bandits do you speak? Note from Bothiel. To whom it may concern, you have been passed this note because you may be able to help the Mages Guild. The Council of Mages has not the resources. The Legion is either unwilling or unable to assist. A shipment of dwarven artifacts from Morrowind, destined for the Arcane University, was intercepted by bandits recently. Intending to sell the artifacts for profit, they have stolen items essential to repair the Imperial Orrery in Cyrodiil's capital. The only known location of these bandits is Camp Ailes, north of Kvatch. If you can find these ruffians and recover the items they've stolen, I will be most indebted. The Orrery is my life's work, and I would hate to see it pass into obscurity now. Items missing. Two dwarven cogs, one dwarven coherer, one dwarven cylinder, one dwarven tube. Both heal. Very good. <clears throat> All right. The copious coin purse. All right. So we need to wait two hours to eight a.m. We're gonna go ahead and do the speechcraft mini game on Thor and Air. Can I make for you today? It's worth it. We'll see. In each attempt to persuade, you must admire, boast, joke, and coerce. Each of these actions raises or lowers the NPC's disposition. Don't take too long because the NPC's disposition is steadily following. Is steadily falling. As you highlight each possible action, the NPC's face shows his reaction to it. He will love, like, dislike, or hate each action. His disposition goes up if you select a loved or liked action, and goes down if you select a disliked or hated action. The potential gain or loss for each action is based on your speech craft and how full the wedge is. Try to select fuller wedges when they are aligned with actions the NPC likes. Try to select less full wedges when they are aligned with actions he doesn't like. Alright. Start. Let's see. Dislikes boasting. Loves admiring. Hates joking. Kinda likes coercing. Alright. That's enough. Not funny. Not even a little bit. Please. I doubt it. 42. Okay. I can't argue with that. No. I get away from me. 44. That's enough. Get away from me. goodness. I 48. Get away from me. Please, I'm, I, I can't argue with that. Fifty-one. That's the size we can go without bribing. Goodbye. What kind of deal can I make for you today? Finally, Oblivion gets a real. What can I interest you? We should be able to move the haggle bar up about a third of the way. Okay. I'm going to sell him this iron dagger. A fine transaction. I'm going to sell him all of these arrows. That's a fair deal. I'm going to sell him the bow. That's more than I'd usually pay. I'm going to sell the mortar and pestle for now, but we're going to keep the ingredients. Gonna sell the spell scrolls. Got it. 
So, soul gems and gems. You've made it. That's an echo. All right. Another satisfied customer. All right, very good. Let's do business. And now I would like to buy his 21 repair hammers. You drive a hard bargain. Tell your friends about me. Goodbye. And take my armor set off for now. It slows me down moving. Gonna head to Mystic Emporium next. Greetings to you. And do the same speechcraft mini game with Calendil. Hates admiring, dislikes joking. My life is drab and wretched. What a dumb joke. Don't talk such wrong. That's enough. He's all right. That's amazing. You win this one. What? Sorry, I don't get it. You win this one. Great. Don't... What? A... I don't think so. That was terrible. Good day. Let's try again. Welcome to. Go ahead. Such adventures. Sorry, I don't get it. Don't we? I can't argue with There we go. I see. Have a look at Hagglebar is good. Alright. Now I only have a hundred gold. I'll be back later for minor life detection and protect. Come back and see me again. Be seeing you. For now, we're gonna head to Coral. We're just gonna fast travel straight up. I've arrived at Wayne and Priory. Now I must take the Amulet of Kings to Joffrey. Upstairs. Yeah, here he is. I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? The amulet. By the nine. This is the amulet of kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? Tell the Emperor's last words. As unlikely <clears throat> as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. Who is the Prince of Destruction? The Prince of Destruction he referred to is none other than Merun's Dagon, one of the lords of the demonic world of Oblivion. The Emperor's words, close shut the jaws of Oblivion, certainly suggest that he perceived some threat from Oblivion. But all the scholars agree that the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. How can Oblivion threaten us, then? I'm not sure. Only the Emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. When an Emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the Emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the Emperor was aware of. The Emperor asked me to find his son. I am one of the few who know of his existence. 
Many years ago, I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. Now, it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, if he yet lives. Where can I find your real son? His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvat, south of here. You must go to Kvat and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. Amulet of Kings. Quest added, find the heir. It will be safest here with me. When you return with Martin, we will figure out our next move. Assistance. I keep a few things here in my chest to resupply traveling blades. Help yourself to whatever you need. Joffrey's chest. All right. I'm pretty near encumbered, but I need to make a few trips and sell some stuff. And take all this. Well, everything we can carry anyway. Put the leather greaves or the leather cures back for now. <laughs> hey boy. Alright. See so yeah, I have six take the boots. And some steel arrows. Alright, we'll be back. For now, I'm interested in just bouncing back to the market district, making a little more money and buying those other two spells I needed. I'm listening. Have you read a shop the main It's the best place in the city. What up? What kind of... Have a look at my wares. I'm sure. That's a good deal. That's it. This ought to do the trick. Outstanding. Goodbye. Back to Mystic Emporium. I need minor life detection and protect at this point. Yes? What can I interest you in? Excellent. I'm not... Good day. Alright, we'll head back to the Priory. <clears throat> we'll scope out our journal. Completed quests. I found Joffrey and gave him the Amulet of Kings. The Emperor's words to me filled him with foreboding. Mayrunes Dagon, the Lord of Destruction, is one of the princes of Oblivion, the demonic world. Joffrey fears that with no Emperor on the throne, the Daedra from Oblivion may be able to invade our world. Find the heir. Joffrey told me that the Emperor has an illegitimate son named Martin, who is currently serving as a priest in the Chapel of Akatosh in the city of Kvatch. I must proceed to Kvatch at once and bring Martin safely back to Waven Priory. Yeah, give us a minute. <laughs> got some goodies. Okay, let me see. I can't even pick up some of these. Take the iron boots. Hmm. All right. 
we'll be back after we <clears throat> are able to stash some stuff. Let's talk to Prior Maverell before we leave. It's a sheep! I can find him. I don't believe it's you. What is it now? If I can find Prior Maverell, he offers us a horse for free. Ah, there we go. I know that you are on an important mission for the Blades. Please, if you need a horse, take mine from the Priory stable. It's a generous offer, thank you. Go with Talos's blessings. Do not fail. All right. All right, good. Got it. have horse. We'll travel. Let's head to Coral. Okay. In Coral, step one is to find Dharma. Where is she? Here she is, wandering around over here. Hello, I don't think we've met. Are you new in town? Yes, I am. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. I'm always glad to meet someone new. Welcome. I'm sure my mother would be glad to meet you as well. Mother! My mother owns Northern Goods and Trade in Coral. Rumors. Anyone looking for work should consider the Fighters Guild. I hear they're always looking for recruits. Okay. Good day. Alright, let's go to the Mages Guild. It's time. Believe it or not, already time. Need to talk to Tikius. Greeting, citizen. Is there something I can do for you? Are you perhaps interested in joining the Mages Guild? Coral. If you're thinking of making Coral your home, you should join a guild. It's hard work, but steady money, and people get to know you. Rumors. Necromancy <coughs> may be legal in Cyrodiil. But few will openly admit to practicing it now that the Mages Guild has banned it. Join the Mages Guild. Well then, it's no small matter. Membership in the Guild is quite an honor, but also a responsibility. Do you wish to join the Guild? Yes, I want to join the Guild. Very well. You are now an associate of the Mages Guild. The full guild hall is now available for your use. You'll need a recommendation from each local guild hall in order to advance further. Until then, the Arcane University will be closed to you. Welcome to the guild, and good luck to you. Alright, quest added, join the Mages Guild. Mages Guild Charter added. I'm probably over encumbered. Mage's Guild key added. Arcane University. The Arcane University is the seat of the Mage's Guild in Cyrodiil. Located in the Imperial City, it houses the leaders of our guild. Coral. It's good that you've joined one of our local organizations. It helps you make the right connections. Mage's Guild. We're all better off now that necromancy has been banned from the guild. It's just safer that way. Recommendation. I'm afraid I can't just write one out of hand. That would be against protocols, you see. If perhaps you can clear up a small matter involving Irana, you can prove your loyalty to the guild and earn my recommendation. Irana. She and I 
have an unpleasant history. She does not care for guild regulations, and errantly believes I am misusing my powers. I have seen that she is in town. Though she has not approached me, I know she wants something. I would like you to find out what it is. Determine what she's after, and how we may be rid of her. I do not want her here, spreading her lies. You got it, Bucko. Quest added. Fingers of the Mountain. Make haste. I wish to be rid of Arana as soon as possible. Alright, let me see here. Good. The Charter did not over-encumber me. I now finally have a full heavy armor set. That's important. Can check out the Mage's Guild Charter. Don't actually need to... Okay, these things are important. Effective 3rd Era 431, as per Archmage Traven. All candidates for membership in the Guild of Mages must be approved by all presiding Guild Hall stewards, with said approval submitted in writing to the Council of Mages in a timely manner. Addendum Effective 3E431, as per Council Mandate, sale of spells in the Imperial Province is to be redistributed across Guild Halls. The following halls are to be responsible for each school of magic. Alteration, Shaden Hall. Conjuration, Coral. Destruction, Skingrad. Illusion, Breville. Mysticism, Leowin. Restoration, Anvil. See, now that's important. I need to get a fresh drink, I'll be right back. <clears throat> Hello, River. <laughs> you good girl. Doggy finally settled down. She's laying on her bed over there. That's good. Alright, here we go. Okay. <laughs> oh goodness. All right. Alright, here we go. We are going to trigger our level up next, our first one. Door open with Mage's Guild key. At this point I should already have five endurance and five strength levels. One hopes anyway. We can rest in the beds up here. Not that one, apparently. That one's alright. Conjuration increased. Alright. I think... Yep, 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to find find a way to regain Magicka as well. Oh shoot, I didn't want to do that. Come on now. Yeah, so I couldn't remember if resting in a bed did the job or not. The answer is no. So let's go find a shrine. I really thought that door was the way out. There it is. <laughs> My bad. So we can recover our Magicka via spell absorption. What is it, associate? Should be able to head to the temple, I think. Dogs! Travis, do you know where our mommy went? As far as I know, she's still in the flower garden. Where is... Here we go. Church is over here. So the way I have tweaked this is that we can... Um, every I, I'm not making my attribute bonuses tied to any of my major skills at all. So once I hit the desired attribute levels, then I can freely use anything that's in there. That includes mercantile, that includes uh, athletics, and all the magic school and a bunch of the magic schools. Chapel of Stendar. How are you? Rejoice through faith your afflictions are banished. You already received your blessing this day. Well, wow. okay. Let's wait seven hours till it's the next day. Yeah, you get one free blessing a day. That can solve our Atronach problems early. A door in Nibbin Bay. I have heard a rumor that a strange doorway has appeared on a small island in the Nibbin Bay. I should investigate. Boom. How delightful. Alright, let's keep going with the summons. Now we will wait 23 hours till the next day. You get a skelly dude, and you get a skelly dude, and you get a skelly dude. That's right. This time we need to wait all 24 hours. River. Relax, girl.
duration increased. Wait 24 hours again. another increase. Should be there any second. Yes, Martin, I picked after knock again. None of those picks were different. The skill configuration is very different. as is my grind tolerance. Okay. Okay, there we go. You should rest and meditate on what you've learned. Music to my ears. Let's go. You go to one of the free mages guild beds. I should be able to do five endurance, five strength, one luck on this first level up. That is the hope at any rate. Athletics increased. Rut row. Um, it's not really a rut row. Hey! I want to sleep there. It's fine. I'll just have to wait until he gets up. Seven should be enough. All I need to do is, uh, and anytime I really need to refill my magicka and I don't have sufficient potions, I just need to, uh... Alright, here we go. Very good. You've ascended to level 2. You realize that all your life you've been coasting along as if you were in a dream. Suddenly, facing the trials of the last few days, you've come alive. Five strength, five endurance, one luck. Booyah. Okay, and with the extra strength and the extra carry weight that comes with it, I would like to, let's see if I, yeah, I have one athletics rank toward next level, which is fine. It's you. Hi. <clears throat> with that little bit of extra carry weight, I want to get a few more items from Joffrey's chest and go sell them. Make a little starter money. Alright, let's see. Take the Iron Greaves, take the Leather Curious. Gonna go to the south gate. Visit Northern Goods and Trade. Sell some stuff. Well, there we go. Only the finest wares to buy and barter at Northern Goods and Trades. I'm Seed Neus, the proprietor. How can I help you? Coral. If I don't have what you need, you might try the other coral merchants. Renoir's has books, fire and steel for your armor and weapons. 
All right. Have a look at my wares. I'm it's good enough for now. Suit you. Oh, okay. Well, you can have my Mage's Guild charter. Right. I need to go to Fire and Steel to sell weapons. Because she is not a general use merchant. What's this about? Where is Fire and Steel? It's probably at the North Gate, which makes my particular travel decision rather foolish. It's alright. This is the Fighters Guild. Fighters Guild. There it is. That makes me feel dumb. It was literally right there. I did a whole loop around the city for no reason. Yay! All right. Hello, I'm Rashida, the Smith, and this is Fire and Steel, quality armor and weapons, repairs too. What can I do for you? Let's do business. All right. Take the leather curious. You got a great deal there. And the iron greaves, if you would. Tell your friends about me. Alright. Alright, we should be able to stash some of our gear in here. I will take that. I'm going to leave my armor, dagger, and repair hammers. We get the remainder of the Joffrey loot. Come back here and sell it. That's the stuff. Alright. Let's go to the south gate. Oh. Let's go sell all that. What? Armor, weapons, I have it all. How many? An excellent. And do the torch dance. Get rid of those. Okay. Now I want to find. Uh, I'm going to take my stuff back from there for now. I want to go all the way upstairs. I want to find a. I want to find a cupboard that no one has any reason to ever interact with.
This is good. Okay. Now we're going to leave the dagger and everything but our alchemy gear in here. Everything that weighs anything, I should say. All right. All right. <clears throat> and start at the top. We are looking for alchemy ingredients and then items over 5 GP that we are able to take. So all five real Baron Zayas are free to take and worth at least 5 GP. There was nothing that fit that bill in here, right? green silk garments are. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Good, good, good. Darkest Darkness. Many books are gonna be, are gonna fit that bill nicely. Fundaments of Alchemy, Galarian the Mystic, A Less Rude Song, Manual of Arms, don't bother, Manual of Spellcraft, don't bother, Mixed Unit Tactics, yes. Mysterious Akavir, yes. On Morrowind, yes. Guide to Breville, no. Multiple copies. Guide to Bruma. Manual of Arms. Guide to Leowin. Guide to Leowin. Argonian Account, Book 2. That'll do. Guide to Skingrad. Argonian Account, Book 4. And these ales are nice. There's Darkest Darkness. Galarian the Mystic. A Less Rude Song. Mysterious Akavir. On Morrowind. Biography of Baron Zaya. Argonian Account Book 4. Silver Pitcher, no. Goblets, no. These potions, yes. These soul gems, yes. Where am I? 78. Doing well. Origin of the Mages Guild. Wow. 70 GP and we can take it. Beautiful. Okay. Dwemer History and Culture we can take. That's locked, and it would be stealing. We cannot deal with stolen goods yet, so there's no reason to. Take the repair hammer. Promptly move it to the cupboard with my others. That's all right, though. Tikius's room. Silver dagger. Alright, more books. That's great. Brief history of the Empire is not worth it. Argonian account is. Guide to Coral is not. That's the entire third floor. 96. We're doing well. We're doing well. Fundaments of Alchemy. Still more books. Book of Daedra. Kings, Ruins of Kemal Z. Some of these are worth some money. A 
We are cheesing our way to some gold. Ten commands, nine divines. But I do have standards. Alright. We're going to keep one novice mortar and pestle, one novice calcinator. All of this is for us to eventually use making our own potions. Fundaments of alchemy. Eastern provinces. Those are five gold each. Delightful. Book of Daedra. Nah. Alright. We are at 139. Go to the next shelf. Why not? Silver urn, sure. Gods and worship, yes. Life of Uriel Septim the Seventh, yep. One fifty nine and sixty. 61, Beggar Prince, not worth it. Darkest Darkness is. Alright. Sixty-seven, one sixty-nine, one seventy-one. Two, three, four. I'm going to go upstairs right quick, stash the alchemy apparatuses. Apparatus. I'm not sure whether it's proper to do singular or plural there. One sixty-eight. <coughs> All right. Get a bit more stuff. 69, 71, 72, 73, 74. All right. We're going to go sell. All this stuff to seed Nias. She already likes. She should already like us because we were nice to her daughter and asked about her. It's fine if athletics and mercantile increase. What up? What can I do for you? Yadana. 
All I heard is that she's looking for some sort of book. You'll have to talk to her if you want to know more. Joffrey. An old cleric with that name comes in now and then. He lives southeast of town on the Black Road at Waynon Priory. Rumors. I was in Chaden Hall last week, and I'm sure I saw Renald Germain. He acted like he didn't know me, though. Renald Germain. Yes, it's quite odd. Reynald, who I've bumped into several times in Coral, acted like I was a complete stranger. Also, he seemed sober, which is a refreshing change. Usually, Reynald is stumbling around Coral drunk as can be. Very odd, but then it's really none of my business. Quest added. Separated at birth. You look around. You won't find better... You got a good and up. Keep all my ingredients. You got a fine mercantile increased. It's fine. I'm not trying to grind up mercantile and trying to get gold. So I will simply sell the stacks. You got it. You drive up. Tell your friends about me. Take care. All right. What is it now? It's become a much more dangerous place. I'm going to go ahead and leave my uh, ingredients in my cupboard as well. Boost my ability to run, right? Or load up stuff. However you want to say it. <laughs> yes. Oh, she didn't buy the silver dagger. Remember to stop by Fire and Steel on the next run. In the meantime... We were over here, I believe. Where are we? No, here. Yes. Books, 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 books. Yet another bookshelf. Another big one. It's tedious, but it's a good thing, I promise. Okay, a bunch of charters. Frontier Conquest is worthwhile. Boom, boom, 
boom, boom, boom, boom, boom, boom, boom. Next one down. Nice! Hilarious clipping. Well done. Those are all going to be manuals of spellcraft. Another shelf cleared. We are at 66. That's great. Let's look here. Ham! Ham! Cheese wedge. Wisp stock caps. Steel blue entoloma cap. Ginseng. Nightshades. Bread loaves. Alright, there's a novice retort and an alembic. I'm going to stash those upstairs. We've got a full set of novice alchemy gear in here now. I believe. Yes, very good. And more bookshelves. I do apologize for the tedium. Sort of. Plenty of copies of Fundaments of Alchemy. This Mortar and Pestle and Calcinator will be able to sell, along with several more copies of the book. River, relax. You're killing me, doggy. Carry weights at 106. Another full shelf of worthwhile books. Mystics, of course. Three Frontier Conquests. And three Darkest Darkness. We're at 143 now. One sixty. One, sixty-two, sixty-three, sixty-four, sixty-five, sixty-six, 
66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 2, 3, 4, Let's go put my food in my cupboard. One sixty eight. Back to looting. Sixty nine. Almost there now. 71, 2, 3, 4. All right. 174. What is it, associate? Let's not forget to stop by Fire and Steel. Making gold early game is always tedious. That is true, Lone Wonder. True facts. Got a silver dagger to sell here. What are you? Only quality goods for sale here. Looks like she'll I'm also buy soul gems and a silver you urn. That's neat. Thank you. Thanks, Rashida. Bye. Five forty-five p.m. That's fine. Can make one more good run at Seed Neus. Sell her. The next big swath of books. Go ahead. Only quality goods for sale here. What? Among other things. Uh, that's up. That's up. That's up. Up. That's a good thank you. Outstanding. Farewell. Zero of 175. That is a glorious carry weight. Alright, back to the guild one more time. <clears throat> well met. It seems it is more so now. Hello! What is it, associate? Okay, we were here. Yes. Excellent. Hello. Almost done with freebies now. Mysterious Akavir, Trials of St. Alicia, Ruins of Kemal Z, Darkest Darkness, Galarian the Mystic. Imagine a random naked dude shows up and sells you a metric ton of books. Hey, if the books are in good shape, why ask questions? Here we got ingredients what is it? for days. What is it, I didn't ask you anything. Why y'all bothering me? That's the question. Calipers. That'll just about do the second floor. Let's see what we can get on the first. Nothing out of there. That's a freebie. That's not. That's not. That's not. The 
The game at dinner. <gasps> the alchemy skill book, one of my favorites. More books. That remains one of my favorite of the fictional books they've written for the entire Elder Scrolls series. Alright. The Firmament, that's a good one. Alchemy gear and fundament books. I didn't realize there was a basement. We'll have to check that too in a minute. Ninety-seven. One forty. That's the entire ground floor. So let me go drop off the food since I did find, well, food and ingredients since I did find more of each of those. go check out the basement. Nothing. I will take the onion. Pumpkins. Alright. It's like a hobbit room. Dude, I am actually pretty great. 158. And we have this room. Okay, I'm going to want these bear pelts. And that, but that's everything. So if I drop off my food, I should be able to pick up that last bear pelt. And then we can go finish our first little money-making run with Mage's Guild freebies in Coral. How great will that be? Drop the food.
All right. Now let's get the last bear pelt. Outstanding. Let's go sell off the last round of goodies. Probably gonna have to wait till morning. What is it? That's gonna be fine. I won't have to wait. Go ahead. Wonderful. Have a look around. You won't. All right. Uh, good. Sell her everything. All right. Mercantile increased again. That's okay. You drop. So, how are we doing? Just fine on these. Farewell. Got a little over 2,000 gold, which is good. the status of my um, container because this is a respawning container so I have to be careful with it just have to make sure I come by to visit every now and then <clears throat> all right um, I have been going for almost two and a half hours I do have other obligations today so we're going to start a, an alchemy grind next, but we're going to have to do that on the next stream, which I am still projecting to be Tuesday night. So let's go ahead and shut the game down. I will thank you all for having joined me. And I think we will do a raid right quick. I think, uh, yeah, Morgan's online. We're going to raid over to Morgan. She's a good friend. She's the partner, girlfriend, whatever your preferred word is for adult relationships of our dear friend Rory, who is a very, very good friend of the stream. Just go on over there, say hi. I'm sure Rory's in her chat room. It's going to be lovely either way. And thank you all so much for watching me. I am... Mm, I'm, I'm not really sorry we're starting over, because this is all going to go much better in terms of our... Uh, ability to navigate the game and function on max difficulty. There's going to be some tedium up front, but it's going to pay great dividends with our ability to actually win fights and quest without it being a dangerous game of save scumming over and over again. So uh, if you haven't followed me here, please do so. I would rather suggest you go over to my YouTube channel and subscribe there because I do it much more regularly. But regardless, thanks a lot for being here. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.